Hey everyone! So I am back with a flip through. So this is my personal wide um, from VDS or Vanderspeck um, in the colour Parme. Um, so I have quite a smooth texture. If you haven't seen my um, my Parme in my A6 and personal wide video, um, do check that out. So I have a lot more info regarding um, this planner there. Um, so yeah, let's get to this flip through. So um, as we open up, um, I do have a highlighter pen here. This is from Mild Liner in the light grey colour. Um, I also have some, um, this like card size um, stickers from the Reset Girl shop. These are from a long time ago. They're from a while, definitely a while back. I actually got it as a gift. Um, so I just, I don't have the heart to use them yet because they're so pretty. <laughs> so I've just kept them as they are um, in the card slots here. And I just have a sampler sheet from Paper Kumako here of the cute strawberry milk carton and a card from um, Create With Pen um, just at the top there. Um, I don't have anything on the top um, card slot, I just don't know what to put there. Um, and then in the pockets, I have this cute little Belle Penelope uh, from Penelope and Friends that Kimmy drew for me a while back. And then I also have this um, page marker. This was a page marker that I made for my B6TN, but as you can tell, it is quite wide and I just didn't know what to do with it. But now that fits the colour quite nicely for this planner. I just thought it just gives it a bit of extra stability. And oh, I think I forgot to mention it in my Parme video actually. Um, I don't have any stiffener um, in my Parmes, so it doesn't give that extra structure, um, like a harder surface. Um, so just having this card here just gives it um, so it doesn't just bend as easily um, but I think because it's got the back pocket as well it just gives it that extra stability anyway um, so yeah that's that um, this is a little empty uh, from what I would normally have it as but I've been moving from my um, I'll just quickly show you here actually um, I've been moving in between my um, print impressions personal white in the color iris and this here um, the last couple of days so that's why um, I just thought I'd just film in this one since this flip through, no, this setup was intended for this planner. So yeah, that's that's that. Um, so I have the 30 millimeter um, cross rings in silver, and then this is the first dashboard. So this dashboard, this star glittery, well not glittery, holographic um, dashboard is from Cat Espresso, and um, I believe they have another um, variation of this now. I think in a like a light blush color instead of it being clear with stars um so yeah do check them out um they also have i think they have a6 they have normal personal they have personal wide and they also have pocket i believe um so yeah those are a few dashboards that they have and many different variations i think they have even um you know like two slots um of ones i'm trying to remember what it was but I forgot what Yvonne told me. <laughs> um, but anyway, do check them out. You'll find more information on their website anyway. Um, so for this dashboard, um, I went for this digital paper. I forgot where it was from. Um, I'll see if I remember and I'll link every I'll name everything down in the description bar and um, box. Um, this is from the Coffee Monsters Co of Cute Little Belle and I've got this um, journaling card from Hello Petite Paper that, but that was from last year's um, autumn kit, sorry. Um, and then we've got this one, Plan Your Life by Princessa Designs. I think her shop is only open till the 21st or something or maybe to the end of the month. I'm not too sure, but she's currently having 70% off because she's closing her shop to have a different focus. Um, so yeah, do grab your digitals before she shuts, um, but I don't remember if that one that is actually there. So do, do have a look and see. Um, and then I've got this um, pillow from Fox and Pip. And then this again from the Coffee Monsters Co. of Cute Little Aurora. And then we have, did I say Aurora? Yes, I'll be. It's fine. My pronunciation might be a bit off today. Um, 
and I've got my friend Mochi, um, this cute little unicorn, and this is from Etsy. And I've got this um, digital from Let's Plan Love. As you can probably guess, um, I hole punched this wrong. <laughs> Um, so therefore, there's simply gilded washi here just to cover up the um, mistaken holes and then just re, um, re-punched. But yeah, so cute. It actually looks really pretty. And then when you put this back over, the bows just kind of line up to the blank space in this dashboard. So it's quite cute. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's that one. And then we've got this um, die cut from Paper and Milk. I think it was one of our freebies in the last sale. Um, and then you got this cover from Annie Plans. And then first section we have is my monthly. So again, these are digitals from Infinite Lotus. Um, so I do have my undated months first because um, I, I didn't get the... I don't think there were dated ones for the last month and this month of 2018 so I got the undated one and I just use it like this so just a brief overview of when my assignments are due um, or any exams um, and I've got December here um, just any teaching stuff this area um, I haven't gone to yet into it yet um, I haven't I'm not usually filling this in um, I just I just always apparently just leave it blank even though it would be handy to write things down here as well well maybe I'll do that more in 2019 so I think I forgot to mention this planner is intended for school uni um, classes <laughs> um, so I've set it up that way where I have four classes uh, four different sections and then I've got the monthly and then like a notes section I think I think I, I also have a weekly and I'll show you further on but anyway that's the intention of this planner. Then we have my dated 2019 monthlies, again from eight lo um, Infinite Lotus. Um, I keep wanting to say eight because it's an actual eight, but it's turned sideways to be infinite. Um, but yeah, these are the dated ones. And again, they are printables, but I believe she also does um, printed inserts as well. Um, so that's that. I haven't gone around to filling in um, my monthlies yet. Um, I should probably start doing that and see when our assignment's due. Um, but since the exams just finished last week, I'm kind of like wanting to stay away from my um, acad academic calendar right now and just just relax. <laughs> that's what I really need. Um, but so that's my monthly here. And then there's this notes section for 2019, maybe for some important dates or just some little goals I could set. Um, and then I've got this um, schedule. Can this come out? No, it, it can't. So these were the dividers that I made previously for my um, coconut foxy fix in the personal wide size. Um, that I intentionally made the dividers for, but it turns out that the top headings that I chose were not as useful as I thought it would be <laughs> so therefore they kind of didn't know I didn't know what to do with them but these are the ones that I made in the website Canva so it's just Sailor Moon themed I've got schedule at the top um, and then at the back here I've got this cute little uh, star pocket adhesive from Happy Scrappy um, she also has like a hollow design I think she's actually got more of these in different designs now um, so check that out they're so cute they fit sticker sheets no problem at all they fit very nicely and snugly um, and they're just they're so pretty to have with the cute little stars and then I've got the happy day sheet that I have no heart to use yet um, because they're too darn cute I don't want to <laughs> I'm fine that I'm hoarding quite a few stickers of happy day <laughs> so yeah but they're so adorable um, I always either get the um, blonde hair color the pink hair color or the dark brown one um, I just like to rotate between the hair colors that they offer and I think it's really cute um, and then we've got this sticker sampler sheet from Paper Kumako her um, sampler sheets are adorable and it's always some sort of drink or food related and I'm like oh it's so cute I don't want to use it <laughs> anyway oops almost 10 minutes in actually um, 
So this insert, as you can see, I tried to be in this planner in semester one, but because it was like midway through already and the exams were close by, there was no point in me um, rewriting my notes or trying to keep it going with the classes. So I just left it and I'm just going to move it to um, till the second semester and then I'll start using this properly. Um, so this is the weekly insert I use in this planner. This is by Poi and Han. Um, I think they also offer print um, physical prints as well as the printables that I use. Um, so this is their weekly and I quite like it that it's like three main um, to-dos for each day because I would prefer to like write down what reading do I have to do for this day and um, what I need to do for this day. It's just easier and it's not so like I've got a list, a long list for one day. It's just a bit too much and not as focused as I would want it to be. Um, so that's this insert. And then I also have, oh, we only have one. Oh yeah, um, I printed this on the wrong um, gram of paper. GSM of paper, so it, it might be a bit off color. Um, I've got this assignment um, insert from Peanuts Planner Co. I haven't fully used this yet, as I said. Um, I'll start this planner in um, second semester, uh, so that's that. And then I have this um, lesson or timetable insert. Um, from Alibi Design Studio. So this one, what I find is it's just enough for from 9 a.m. up to like 5 p.m. because that's how long my classes can run. Um, like sometimes I'll just have like a random two hour in the last, um, last like, what do you call it? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Oh boy, I need some tea. Um, anyway, I can have classes in the late e, starting the early evening, or I can have them early morning, or they're just everywhere, and just having the two extra boxes are really handy. Um, so that's what I'm finding with this. I don't know what to do with this column, actually. I normally just leave it blank and just fill in my classes and just highlight color coordinate in the class. Um, so yeah, that's how I use this insert, and this is the same insert I use for my um, pocket rings here. So you can see this is how I use it, like this. So I've highlighted the class to their color, um, any revision like that. So that insert is in here, in here, and also in my A6. <laughs> so I can easily rotate my timetable. Um, I, I mean, I, I always have my timetable at, in each planner. So if I ever do switch around, I know where my timetable is. Um, so this um, divider, um, I did make a slit into it. So these were the ones that I made as well. Um, it was just easier and just, I could easily find out where um, which week I'm on. I've got assignments at the top because again these were the dividers that I made and they weren't as useful but since it kind of works in this section I just thought I'd just leave it. Um, so yeah that's that and I've got some extra sticky notes if I ever need it. Um, so that's that section. This is from Redbubble. Although the artist for um, this artist for Redbubble, I don't know if her shop is currently still open, but I'm pretty sure if you just type in Akatar stickers, hopefully um, her designs will be there because her uh, her designs are so cute. <laughs> um, and then I've got this divider. Um, no, this dashboard from Foxy Fix. Um, and the paper is from Happy Scrappy. This is actually one of the ones that I need to change papers with because it's no longer autumn, it is finally winter. Um, and then I've got this die cut from Green and Barrett and then this again from the Coffee Monsters Co. That is so pretty and cute. I might just leave it in there a little longer <laughs> even though it's winter. Um, I've got this sticker from ha Happy Hello Co. Even though I've got like the um, magnetic bookmark version, I just got the sticker version as well. I thought it was really cute. More Happy Day a sticker. Um, this is a notepad from um, Bubble Mon Sticker Co. that I've just slotted in a sheet because I thought it was really cute with the Pocky biscuits. Um, these two die cuts are from Fox and Pip that I did laminate. Some die cuts in here have been laminated, some have just left it on its own. Um, just preference really, I don't mind. Either is fine, but I think if 
if I want to make sure that they're not damaged by the washi, I normally just laminate them. Um, and then I have this, um, this, oh dear, I'm kind of, whatever this is slotted in this um, adhesive pocket from Foxy Fix as well. I've just stuck it on here. And again, it just fits the sticker sheets nicely. Um, this, the reason why I've got a sticky note here is I don't like to write on the actual insert cover because I'm, I just, I'll, I'll mess up. Normally I mess up. So therefore I'll just put a cute little sticky note here and then just write it on top and then I can easily just change it around, um, for other classes. So that's why I've got it there. Um, and then I have this check. I think it's a checklist, yeah. I've just got some checklists of different types, either the full one or like two two on a page. And then I have this notes insert from Poi and Han. Oh, this is from Peanuts Plan Co. This is from um, um, Anne Plan Printables. So this one from Poi and Han, I want to have it as the start of each notes section um, because then I could just put the subject and then the day <laughs> and then I'll have the grids so each one has their own little section this is just to kind of start everything off so it's a bit more clear um, so uh, then I've got some um, grid paper from um, Peanuts Planet Co. I believe this was a freebie on her Facebook group in her Facebook group um, so I've got that so that's one class and then so this is what so each class is just separated by a divider. There's one class, four classes in total um, in each semester. Um, so that's another class and then so on and so forth, but I'll go through them all because I think I've got slightly different inserts in each. Um, so this divider or dashboard, um, it's a glittery one. Um, this is again from Cat Espresso. Um, this one has a cute little pocket at the back and I found that was really handy. Sometimes when you just, if you stick a adhesive pocket in there, it can add a little bulk. Whereas this one is just, it's considered quite thin, I would say. And it just has that pocket, which is really handy. And I've just realized Cinderella has been hidden. Hold on. <laughs> no, come back, come back, come back. I think that's what the, the, the oh, what was it? The prince helper like it is come back come back or you could, or the princess come back just in around anyway slightly off topic back we go <laughs> um so this paper is from happy scrappy one of her past kits don't exactly remember which one i'm pretty sure it was quite early on the year um and then this um cute little girl is from penelope and friends um this is one of her summer designs i think or was it spring spring or summer one of the two, early on this year, anyway. Um, this is a die cut from my friend Andrea, I believe. It was quite a while back, actually. Um, so I've just popped that there. And then at the back, we have this Coffee Monsters Co. sticker sheet. And I just have this for decoration. I don't want to use it because it's too cute. Therefore, it is here for decoration. <laughs> and this again from Coffee Monsters Co. And this is from Happy Dia. And this is the pink hair color. Um, how am I doing? 18 minutes. I, I need to speed up. Okay, so this cute, um, what do you call it? Holographic? Is it hollow? Yeah, hollow. Um, like a, a thick adhesive sheet is from Cat Espresso as well. And I put some sticky notes at the back there. I never like to put it at the front because I thought it'd be quick. It, it's like the design is on the front, therefore if you put it on the back, it's less likely to anything to happen. Anyway, so I've got Create With Pen sticky notes and also Wonton in a Million is so cute. And then here you just see I've got a class and then reading list but I didn't even put it in here. It's more in my A6. Um, so again, inserts from Annie Plans. Got the cup insert. And again, the insert from Poi and Hun. I've got that, that's one section. I've got this lecture notes one, so I could just switch it to wherever day, what class I'm in and just have it there easy to open. Um, so this one, again, Sailor Moon themed, and I've just got some sticker, uh, sticky notes from Ohana Stories 
Um, this insert is from Peanuts Planet Co. So what I was intending to use this for, I'm trying to remember what it was. Um, my class had different ratios. I think there was around 15, 16, 17, something like that. And I'll just put one ratio per box and explain a little detail what they do. And that, that was the intention of using this insert. Uh, but by that point it was a bit too late so I just left it. Um, this insert again from ooh, Annie's Plans in collab with Once More With Love. I thought it was quite cute! <laughs> just brighten up my planner even more. We've got some line insert and then grid inserts. Next section, um, this paper is from the Rose Quartz Prima collection. Um, Prima collection? I think this was a while back actually. I think this was in 2017. Was it? Yes, it was 2017 time. Um, so it has been a while. If you can still find it now then that is absolutely amazing <laughs> that, that they still have this collection available. So if you if you like this cute little map do check it out because it's, it's really quite a cute design. Um, this is from Planner Street um, Coffee Cup don't really remember. Um, Fox and Pip, Fox and Pip. That was quite cute for a little travelling idea. Um, I put a spell on you. I don't remember where you're from. I really don't. But it's cute. They're horts here. <laughs> and then this is of the... Is it the Dark Princess? Is that what you call it? Because I forgot. I remember her being called... Is it Dark Lady? Uh, from Sailor Moon. So she's got this witchy theme instead. Um, I don't remember how to pronounce this artist's name so I'll just leave it down below in the description. Then again I've just got a sticky note here to put down what class it is. And again I need to switch this out because it's autumn theme. This is another class section. Same style of inserts. And then this is the last one. Um, so again happy scrappy paper. This is from um, 15 Pro, the cute little couple. And then this heart, um, sweater heart, is from Viva Stationery. I overloaded this pocket indeed. <laughs> um, so I've got some sticker sheets from Jalen Paper Co., some Sailor Moon ones. I hope my camera's picking it up okay. Um, and then I've got some Happy Day sheets, and then Bubble Mon Sticker Co., and then this is also from Bubble Mon. Um, so, and then it's from Planner Street. Just, I just stuffed it and I just thought, why not? It's so cute. <laughs> Layered. So cute. Um, and then there's the last class, um, Fox and Pip sticky note. And there's some um, happy scrappy inserts from the kits. Oh, they're so adorable. This was from, I think, uh, the October kit or the September kit. I think it was October. Um, like the cute farmer's market kind of thing. So adorable. And then that's the back. And I've just got some, is this what you call it, Polaroid pictures I think? So just some family photos. Um, this is from Caspresso again. So I just have Dream at the top and this cute little happy scrappy bear. Um, this is again from the Copy Monsters Co. And then at the back I just have some planner friends. Um, and then I have milk and paper um, sticker sheet of a happy moment and at the back I have um, Aurora again from Penelope and Friends. And then I've got this um, page lifter from Foxy Fix. I haven't put anything on here yet but I do intend to put, uh, put a cute little die cut. And then this is from 15 Prill um, and this pen is from the Simply Gilded box for September, like the galaxy theme one I think. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Normally I do have stickers in here, but I have been rotating, um, changing up planners of my personal wide, so that's why they're not slotted back in yet, and I don't really, I like to switch around my sticker sheets as well, so I haven't picked out the ones I want to have on hand. Um, but that's about it. Um, oh, in this pocket. I just have this cute little um, page marker again made a little too big for the E6 but it's quite cute and this one has a has a little pocket as well um, but yeah I just have it there oh my goodness this is actually quite heavy um, I just slot it in here and oh this was a collab oh the light oh not the light Rachel don't hit the light um, this is from the Opal Wild in collab with Carolyn designs. It's so cute. It's got like two little 
I don't really know what to call it. <laughs> it's like a moon kind of opaly color. Um, moon kind of opaly color. That's what I'm going for. It's gonna happen. <laughs> and then like these cute little star charms. It's so adorable. Oh wait, sorry. I'm a bit out of focus. Well, there you go. It doesn't help that I'm hide. I'm like hiding the light. Hiding light. Then do it this way with the help, maybe. Yay! There you go. Um, so that's a cute little charm. I'm pretty sure this was, I think, it was a limited edition kind of thing. I'm not too sure. But this is the um, Rings Shorty that I, I rather have. That, that I chose. Not that I rather have. I, I chose instead of the actual personal Y size because I, I don't like it so long and because I go in between so many sizes already. <laughs> it was just easier that I just pick a shorty and then just easily change around between the two. And yeah, so that's the flip through for this planner. Um, I hope it was somewhat helpful and you enjoyed it. <laughs> um, if I've missed anything or um, you have any questions, just leave a comment down below and I'll try and answer it as soon as I can, as best as I can. Um, but yeah, this is quite actually a long flip. So um, yay, hope you enjoyed it. See you later guys. Bye.